because a budget really lays out kind of a shocking attack on seniors. When, when you're going after seniors the way he's already done on Obamacare, taking $700 billion out of Medicare to put into Obamacare, and now coming back at seniors again, I, I think you're crossing that line uh, very quickly. You know, I think uh, senior citizens are squeezed. If the president's going to take Mrs. O'Reilly and everybody else, seniors who don't have any money, away, then those left-wing groups may have a point. Those left-wing groups have a point. Those are conservatives and Republicans, including the head of the NRCC, uh, Representative Walden, blasting the president from the left for cuts to Social Security. And Senator Merkley, what do you think when you see that? Well, Greg Walden is from my, my home state of, of Oregon. And so here the president what put in Walden the budget. What does Walden stand for? <laughs> what, what, Do you have an acronym, W-A-L-D-E-N? <laughs> no, I, I don't have one quick for you. No, he's, he's, he's a good man, and I'm going to say this. On this issue, he's right. And, but here is the thing. It's very cynical because the president put it in because the Republicans asked him to make it part of the deal and then immediately attack him for it. But I do think that if you're going to take a political calculation, yes. you should believe that you're going to be able to sell what is fair. And this is where Jonathan and I disagree because this is an unfair strategy. Now, means testing the top 25 percent of income earners, something like that, that strikes people as fair. This was designed, as Roosevelt said, insurance against need. Right. And we so agree. something like that, a much fairer deal. Totally disagree with means testing, and here's why. Universal programs, mm -hmm. if you see the history of social democracy in the U.S. and across the continent, the thing that makes them work is universal pay-in and everybody gets out. And the reason that Bill O'Reilly is on his air last night is because the program's universal. The political constituency exists for it because of its universal. And nobody's talking about taking it all away from the people who've paid in, just having them get a little bit less if they're still working and they have other assets. That is done all throughout Europe. The idea that, that all of these social programs that we both respect, right. that they don't have means testing around the world is not The idea that they don't have means <laughs> testing around the world is not accurate. Well, they do have means testing around the world. It's interesting thing, though, from yeah. a Republican or conservative perspective, is that for the president to say he's coming to the table with entitlement reforms and his entitlement reform is a middle class tax hike, what does that say about the president's priorities? That's why conservatives are all scratching their head asking, why is this your entitlement reform when we've got these behemoths of entitlement spending, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security? Which he's Security. reformed yeah. multiple Times yeah, over. but he's gone after Medicare in the and Affordable he, Care Act yeah. and right, the Affordable Care Act and even and his five hundred billion dollars in this proposal. And, I mean, and honestly, you guys want to privatize? That's not much of an answer. Honestly, the real issue here is that the only people who actually want to cut Social Security, and I think it's important that Republicans will never say, please, something, give us Social Security. What they will say is entitlements. Listen to the language because that just doesn't mean Social Security, which everyone loves, including the majority of Republican well, why voters. Why do Republicans have to be in spoken in Social Security? The donor because class. Well, but you're t saying that this has to be Republicans' priorities. Why? Pri Republicans have offered just as many plans to reform Medicare as President Obama had. Sure, yes. Why Biden didn't even touch Social Security. He left that. Right. So why? For so the why president. are you yes. saying that Republicans have to take it on then? Why is that? A no, 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 I don't think it's a half. I don't, look, look. Let me, let me. Look, I'm happy to. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to. I am happy to, to offer the following truths to all parties. <laughs> Republicans don't have to cut Social Security, and Democrats don't have to sort of cut Social Security. I think a wonderful piece that could break out on Washington and bring everyone together, Senator Merkley, is that we don't cut the security. It, it, it sounds like an absolutely uh, good good proposal. Um, NBC's Jonathan Alter, Heather McGee of Demos, and Maddie Dupler of Americans for Tax Reform. And in Washington, Senator Jeff Merkley. Thank you so much, Senator, for coming on tonight. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, I like that. That was good. And we should talk again in the future about expanding Social Security. The New America Foundation has a... You're, you're grimacing. At <laughs> New America Not Foundation... Not anti-entitlement no, no, no. New America <laughs> Foundation, they, they, they explain it. We're going to talk about that at some future show. But right now, that is it for All In for this evening.